So I'm with Ariana Karps of Rear Ends, and I am all in Rear Ends. And as I just said to her, what else would I be in but a Rear Ends blade jacket? Because I have bought them all. Um, all of them. All of Every them. Blazer. Since starting this summer for the fall. And when she puts out the spring, then I'll start buying my spring blazers. Um, and we keep that secret locked tight from my husband who thank God is not on social media. And so here's where I'm starting. In the wonderful world that you and I live in, we're gonna put to bed today, the Elaine and Mark rumors. How, I bet you didn't know that's where I was starting today. No, tell Elaine, away. Elaine and Mark, your amazing parents who I keep trying to get adopted, but I guess I'll just yeah. adopt myself as dear friends, publicist. Elaine and Mark have decided to retire. And so the West Bloomfield store is closing. It's closing really anytime now. We're, we're getting closer and closer. So for those of you who have not gotten to that West Bloomfield store to get the last minute deals, you're, you're gonna snooze and lose, get over there. Um, but they're retiring. And, you know, you got to love the community we live in because everybody has decided at, while getting their nails and hair done to make up their own story of. So I've gotten a lot of like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's so sad. And very much. And like from the beginning, we wanted to let everyone know that this is not sad. This is such a happy and positive change for us, for my parents who get to retire. For me, you know, the fact is, this is kind of the natural progression. Mm -hmm. um, our two stores are close enough that we don't need them both. It's okay, you know. I hope the people that have been West Bloomfield loyalists for so long, you know, we've been in that mall for 26 years, can drive the extra few miles. But this is the this is the space that made sense to stay in. But this decision has been nothing but positive since. We made the decision since we announced it. And then to your point on the sales stuff in West Bloomfield, there's only a couple of weeks left. Everything in that store is $80 or less. I mean, you have to get in. There are still some great deals to be found on the sale rack. So definitely don't miss it because you're going to get an email one day that it's done. It's done. It's done. Well, and I, that's really where I wanted to start today because I know you've said it numerous times. And I just want the community to really understand that um, Elaine and Mark are retiring. They're not going anywhere because they're your amazing parents who started Rear Ends, what, 42 years ago? I mean- Yeah, it's 42 years. So, and also like their retirement is different than the retirement of someone who's worked in an office building for 40 years. They're not packing up their desks and, and walking out. They are still my parents. They are still my partners. They're just not going to be regularly scheduled employees. But like, <laughs> don't think when you walk in in the middle of the busy season that they won't be here. Yeah, they will. I, I'm pretty sure you'll put them right to work. I know, I know your family. I know their work ethic and you will have them working. So I just that's really where I wanted to start today because um, it is the most amazing family business. Um, I feel always so fortunate to be able to be a part of your family business, um, especially during this crazy, crazy time that we're all living in because you and your family just jumped in and figured out how to make it work. And as a prime example, you're in your store right now. Um, you, can't, you can't get close to your store without a mask on. Um, and that's the way it is. And um, I love that about your work ethic because you're staying open, staying safe, and you want first your employees to be safe. And second, you want your customers to feel safe while they're shopping. And um, you've just taken that attitude from day one in order to be around your parents. And you have two young children. And so it it's very much, we're all in this together, right? Like math, Sure, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I've been wearing one every day since we were able to reopen our doors by appointment only May 26th. That's six months of mask wearing. 
it's fine. I'm pretty used to it. The less you complain about it, the less annoying they are. And I want to do everything I can. My parents are 69 and 70. So by age, they're at risk. My boys are one and a half and three and a half there in daycare. I feel very responsible for protecting that community. And then I have a staff who has family. I have customers, they have family. I want everyone to do their part to protect this community, to make it so we don't have another closure. But to that effect also, I want everyone to be comfortable shopping. So I've been trying to figure out ways to meet people where they are comfortable shopping. If that's in store, great. Wear your mask, sanitize your hands, and we're limiting capacity. If that is not in the store, reach out to me. I am happy to send you pictures or do your own private Zoom. We're doing curbside. We're, we do free shipping on orders over $100. We do free local delivery, all that stuff. Because not everyone is coming in the store, but people do want to shop local. So if that's you, like, tell me how I can make that happen. And I will. I, and I think that's so important. And I've said this all along that people have a tendency or have had a tendency to think it's easy to just go online and shop online at any time of day. And right now it takes sometimes just a little bit more effort to pick up the phone if they need to and say, hey, I saw this great outfit on your Instagram or your Facebook or to send an email. And what I think that they'll see is the reaction of the local merchant to say, oh, what size do you need? Let me send it to you because you are not gonna get that response if you're shopping big box. You're just not. And you, you, know, you know, if you email chat or do the chat support on shop Bob and say, are those gonna look good on my tush? They're gonna say, I have no idea what your tush looks like. Right. But I can tell you, if, especially if you're a person I've been fitting for years, but there's also new brands that are really hard to find. You know, if we're looking online, we go back to the same well. Whereas in a small store, you're introduced to something new and great that you may not have seen. I keep going back yeah. to. So, yeah, I just want you, you're standing in front of a rack, which I said, I text you last night and I said, we're going to talk and I want to see some stuff because, you know, the truth is I, I personally am not running around town and I'll see something on your Instagram and I am really I mean, I saw this jacket and I was like, um, okay, I have to have that. And I did it this weekend. Marissa was in town and I posted what she bought. And of course your mom was, you're going to want this shirt that Marissa got. And I made the terrible mistake of saying, no, no, no. Marissa brought it home. Of course, I text your mom right back and I said, okay, put it aside for me. You were right, Elaine. Just like my she mom. Was right. she was, she was Never doubt right. her. I know. And so, you know, that's how I've been shopping. I, you know, I've been in the store and I love coming in, but you know, the truth is I'm busy working too. So the, the, the fun part is it's a different way of me shopping. So I said to you last night, I said, pull out a rack, let's show some things today. Because one of the things that I think has been amazing is how you've done your zoom events and people, your loyal customers, new customers have come on. I have used you as an example um, about how you do these Zoom, Zoom events and people shopping by Zoom. And I, I mean, I love when you speed them up because the yeah. funny part is when you speed them up, that's how I feel like I'm watching them in, in real time. <laughs> so, that's kind of how fast I talk anyway. Yeah. You, you know, I... Like what I always say, I have sweat outfits and I, I'm going to show some, a couple because I know people love them. You got to button and zip guys. We've been in this, we've been in this place for eight and a half months. We're going to be in this place again. You're going to want to put on jeans. You've got to button and zip to keep you on it. And also like, I'm not a mental health expert. I can only say from personal experiences, the day that I w walk around and I look like garbage i feel like it too getting up and getting dressed goes a long way you put on the clothes you feel cute i learned that day two of the store being closed i came in sweatpants my hair was in a ponytail i was like this is not me at work so i want to show a couple of my favorite things i've got to start with my favorite jeans from edwin i'm wearing them 
today. I wear them almost every day because I have them in four colors. It is an easy straight leg. It has stretch. It's not a boyfriend. It's not loose, but it's not tight. It's like the perfect jean that you want to throw on every day. And I'm showing these because that is what I'm finding. You know, every business is different. How every business is adapting is different, but people want things that are both different. They want things that they don't have in their closet, but they also want things that feel good. You know, nobody wants to put on that constricting outfit to join a zoom, to sit at their desk when they're Mm -hmm. not out and about seeing people. So it's finding that mix of comfort but cute and different that makes you want to put on the clothes in the morning. Is the Edwin jean, I mean, Edwin's been around, but is that particular jean a new jean, that style? Yeah, it's a real, uh, well, this is, Edwin relaunched as a brand. I can't remember when they closed. It was some point when I was in elementary school, I would say early to mid nineties. Cause I, I definitely had a pair in the fourth grade. They were brown. They were awesome. Um, So this is a relaunch from like a year ago. It's a, a newer style. It's a lot of what we're seeing, you know, there still are a ton of the skinny jeans. Yeah. Um, and what what I say in the Zooms that I do is, if you want a skinny jean, let me know. because I, I have all the varieties, but they're not fun to show. So this is just kind of an update. For a while, we saw the boyfriend, and yeah. that was too big for so many people. I mean, honestly, like, I think 90% of the time, you need to be a supermodel to rock that jean. So this kind of gave you that comfort while still well, being and accessible. I, and I think that people tend to want that boyfriend until they put it on. I always did until I put it on. And the truth is I never thought I could wear a skinny and that kind of thing. But when you put it on, you feel better. You, you, you tend to look better when you, and and you believe me, if you have not been to rear ends, by the way, you are not walking out of there. FYI, unless you look good. They'll let you oh, leave. Yeah. They'll let you leave without with nothing. Trust me. Look, but, when you and, leave, you are an advertisement for our store, and I'd rather you, you be a good one than a bad one. So, right. like, I'm gonna be perfect because I would rather say someone say, "Oh my God, where did you get those jeans?" Than, "Oh my God, where did you get those jeans?" It's really, it's a hundred percent true. And because I will walk out of the dressing room every time, and I'll go, "Ariana, where are you?" You know, or mm-hmm. Elaine, and and it's and they will come and be like, "A hundred percent." Nope, take those off. And but it, it's funny because you think in your mind, oh, I want a loose fitting jean. I, you know, that's what I need. And you're amazed, like, oh wait, I can do a, a skinnier jean because you you actually look better. You fits your body. And and like right now with the comfort and with the thing, mm-hmm. so you can throw on an easy straight leg like that jean or another newer style. The crop boot might be something that not everybody owns. And I have varying lengths of these and we can talk high tops and, mm-hmm. and keeping your ankles warm and everything like that. But then you can pair it back to something like a fashionable, fancy sweater. So this is like a full blown sweatshirt inside. It's the yummiest thing you've ever seen, but it's got uh-huh. the fringe. So it's fun. You're still dressed and you can do a lot with this. So here you've got your jeans and sneakers look with the crop boot and the fringe sweatshirt or change it up and make it fancy and throw it on with like this leather, this faux leather paper bag jean or the faux leather skinny that's hiding somewhere in this rack. Um, and I think, and then I, I, think I did, I think I did a faux leather. Um, you did, you have the Maguire. They're awesome. The crop boot. They're yeah. Amazing. And I haven't, I haven't, I mean, it just started snowing here in Michigan. So I just haven't gotten those on yet, but I got to get those on. And I am with you hundred percent. I am there, there are jeans on below here and I am with you. You, you know, first of all, you feel better when you put jeans on because it helps you with your weight and mm. joggers. I mean, I, <laughs> and yesterday I was like feeling a little bit of the Mondays, the post like Turkey mm-hmm. and all the eating and everything like that from the week. So I threw on this sweatshirt instead. It's so cute. Again, like a, a true sweatshirt, but it's not boring. I didn't right. feel schleppy. And I put it on with jeans that were like maybe a size too big on me. So I was comfortable. That's okay. That's allowed. I'm but not I love saying. I love that sweatshirt and the fringe because if you're sitting like with us, like here we are on Zoom, there's something to look at, you know? You or even I'm gonna pop this one on because I think it's awesome. This new jacket that arrived today that is Uh-oh. definitely not my size. So wait and see the moment. It's a it is so cute. 
it's like the most year round color combo. You got this black, white, and gray little Starburst Pistola. It's oh, is that a, cute? such an easy denim. I wear jean jackets year round as blazers. Mm-hmm. So I wear them under my heavy coat. And oh, I, I just, but, you know, I'm the, bla- I'm, I'm the blazer. You're the blazer, I'm the blazer queen. queen. So if I have to leave, I have a jacket on. <laughs> Even in normal times, like in a restaurant, I'm cold. My grandma like ingrained it into my head in Vegas in August. I had to go everywhere with a sweater. I cannot leave my house without long sleeves. So stuff like this, really fun. And again, this is like a really special item for the people who are going to Florida. It's lightweight and it has the white. Mm -hmm. For the people who aren't, wear it over black. Like it makes it such a year round piece. I love that. I would Um, love that with white jeans come. A hundred percent. And you know, I've got blue jeans on, black jeans, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's a really cool piece. Another, the like greatest Zoom blazer ever. Had I been planning on doing this, you know, normally I have my mom on my wait. Zooms and she's she models it's a, for me. It's okay. I know she's your model, but wait. Oh my God. Wait, I don't own that one. You, you don't? I didn't send this to you? Okay. Here you've got black blazer. It's terry cloth. So it's sweatshirt fabric again. With the denim insert, the insert is removable, but it's what makes the item. So, okay. So here, down. selfishly, everybody's joining my personal shopping day. Right, <laughs> right. So, Sari, I'll pull your size in this. Um, but you know, these are the pieces that you can yeah. wear. Be professional. A friend after our last Zoom, a friend of mine texted me just some super complimentary things. Like she felt like the stuff she picked out was the greatest mix of high and low. Because the hard thing for her has been there's been no distinct time between she wakes up and she's with her kids and she jumps on a meeting and then she's with her kids again. You know, there's not the start and the end to the day where you wear your sweat outfits in the morning, change into your work clothes and then change again. It's like the day is back and forth. You can't change your clothes a hundred times. So how do you dress that it makes it work for everything? And you find pieces like this that are comfortable that you can move in. If you have young kids that are machine washable, because those kids are goobers, um, at least mine are. Yours, but, are the cu- yours are the cutest goobers, but I think that oh you bring. I, love I think that you bring a really excellent point about rear ends, and and that is something that I was always shy and hesitant about. And you guys know this, um, that you spend a little bit mo- of money on some really good pieces. And that might be like, for me, I have found, and, and it's not even a lot of money, but it's on some blazers and maybe you stick white tees underneath them. Or like, for me, like I have like, always have like a, a black tee underneath or a white tee, like, because I do a lot with blazers. And then when I'm at home, if I get hot, I whip it off. Then I'm on a Zoom call lately or before Zoom calls, I'd be running around and I'd come home and work and I, you know, and and for my, young moms, it's the same thing. They're running around, maybe they're working, they throw the blazer or the cute sweater on, but then they take it off if they're yeah, feeding or, you know. With whatever you have going on, I feel really lucky to be in the fashion place that our store is and has lived in, you know, our, our identity of being casual wear feels really lucky for this moment because life has gotten more casual. Mm-hmm. You know, people who got dressed up for work are fine at some level of looking professional, but nobody expects the same thing. Right. You know, if I jumped on a Zoom and someone was wearing a suit, I mean, that's not my industry, but I would, there would also be a part of me that felt like, what are you doing? You're just home in your suit? I mean, yeah, yeah, but I think, I think like here, look what you're wearing. I think that has become the suit world too. I mean, I think that suits have variations. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I understand if you're, you're working in the banking industry that that may be a different, but I think that it's interesting how jeans have become more acceptable. I mean, I know like I branched out this year during your massive sale and did, um, you know, corduroy, even the leathers. I mean, look at this. I mean, this gorgeous, you could dress right. that. So, and this actually, so going back to suits, this is, can be worn as a suit. Stunning. And I've had this on a couple of people. It's amazing 
paired either over a printed tee, which I would totally do this as a casual mm-hmm. look, or over like a leather top. And it, it actually happens to be very comfortable for being silk. And then you look nice for your holiday even though it's smaller like even though we're all doing much smaller things let's not me i'm only seeing my parents and my in-laws so like on a normal sunday dinner i might still be in my workout clothes from the morning because i cleaned the house i I took a hike with the boys whatever i didn't want thanksgiving to feel like that my we all got dressed we all put on clothes to feel nice to make it feel different and special because it's a weird year and it was missing things we normally have right Let's not make it like the every day. Well, and I, I've been saying that um, to everyone about the holidays that I think like what you're wearing right now and what you just showed is such a, I want people to look at that outfit as the perfect outfit for the upcoming holidays. Because if you're just with your family, that's a perfect outfit to put on in your home to feel special without maybe this year feeling like you've put on a ball gown because it's not a ball gown year. We know that. Um, Mm -hmm. But, you know, I did the same thing. I put on for um, Thanksgiving, my black um, pants from rear ends. I had on a blazer and tee. Um, All all the kids, we took off our matching pajamas that we um, (laughs) made everybody wear. They they were like, we are so not that family. I'm like, oh, we're that family this year. No, you are. (laughs) And I, you know, and I just wanted us to sit around the table that night and just make it feel, you know, a little special. And I think that's what the holidays are going to be this year. Even if it's your jeans, um, you know, you you just got to get out of your sweats and, and there's time for sweats. I mean, and I have to say that even when I put on sweats, which is not that often, you know, show people that you can put on sweats and feel kind of cute and like, look at that. I mean, here you go. You don't, I like to say I put on a sweat outfit. So when I go to the grocery store, I don't also look homeless. Right. Um, so I mean, I think there are your like, I'm excited because today I'm going to go work out and I'm going to put on my workout sweats. But when I sit and work, like there are days where I'm like, oh my God, I wore sweats today. Those aren't my workout sweats. Those are my cute, you know, Yeah, your fancy sweats. Look, we've got different tiers of clothing now. (laughs) Different things have happened. It's a whole new world. You know, and even to speaking to the holidays, which is, you know, and I've got great gift items and a lot of options under $100. Some great jewelry, jewelry from Ashley Gold, some cute purses from Think Royland. I can give you ideas on jeans and tops. I'm trying to figure out a way to make the holidays special. Right. So I've, I'm scheduling Zooms to light the menorah with different people. I bought an extra menorah so I can share it with my some of my non-Jewish friends who I would normally have them and their kids over for a night to light the menorah and to share in that part of the celebration. I love that. I'm still going to do it. Yeah. You know, and I you said to me a long time ago, I'm overhearing in these hard times. And I swear I've never said this since. It's a different year. Let's figure out how to make it happy. Let's figure out how to make it positive. Let's figure out how to let these memories, the positive memories, the positive things we do carry forward and forget that these hard times. I, I, so I'm so happy to talk to you and like, have you say that because I think, you know, having the glass half full is really how I, you know, it is how um, I like to say the glass is full and, you know, that's how I look at it. I think your parents have taught you that and that you've just, you know, your family's gone above and beyond to welcome everybody in to do whatever, and that you'll continue to do that. First of all, I want to say how excited I am that your parents are retiring because I adore them. It's time, but what I'm really excited about is that I know that you have been working since before you knew you were working, Um, and 2021 for Rear Ends is going to be so exciting, and um, you are going to be amazing. And well, thank you so much. And thank you as always for being the biggest champion of small well, business. You're, 
You are so wonderful, this community. And I'm excited. My parents are excited. All these changes coming are happy. It's really good stuff. So you look gorgeous now. You can go to work in that beautiful silk blazer. <laughs> or, you right. can wear, or you can put back on the gray um, sweater that I own as well. But um, put, a, put aside that black... Um, the black blazer. It's got your name on it with the put other that, All right. Put that in my pile too. I love you. Thank you for joining love me. We're, um, so tell much, everybody Ray. how to find you. So you can find us. I, I'm going to only plug really the location of the Telegraph store because that's going to be it in Absolutely. the next couple of weeks. Everything in the West Bloomfield store is $80 or less. You can find us with all of our new merchandise and great gift items um, at Maple and Telegraph in the same plaza as Trader Joe's and Nino's. Call us here, 248-480-0460. And if you want to coordinate some virtual shopping, you can either call us or reach out to us on Instagram. Our handle is at rear end, and we will get back to all DMs and shop with you wherever you're comfortable shopping. Perfect. Thank you so much. My love to your right. family. I'll all see right, you guys soon. Take care. Right. Bye. Bye.